YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. All right, folks, welcome to the final video in the Vault of Glass Made Easy. In this video, we are going to cover the Gatekeeper encounter as well as killing Atheon. I made two other previous videos covering all of the other encounters leading up to this. I will link them in the description, have them in the pinned comments, also annotated on screen and in the end cards. And I make everything easy for you to follow along. These two encounters, are fairly easy especially now that contest mode ended after that first 24 hours and hopefully you'll get something out of this that you have not gotten out of other guides we will have master versions and challenges that we want to do and I'm gonna show you how to do everything easy now there are some cheeses out there right now I'll briefly discuss them but I'm gonna show you how to do it legit because more than likely Bungie is going to patch these cheeses all right without further ado let's get into the video guys and if you enjoy it if you could kindly hit that like button subscribe and also leave me a comment for the lovely YouTube algorithm all right folks let's do this here is a map that I will link from destiny Raider in the description and it applies to both encounters so on the bottom those two little yellow circles those are sink plates as long as folks are standing on those sink plates portals will open on the ledge right in front of them you want to memorize or just say to yourself left portal is Mars a right portal is Venus and technically one is past and one is future and whatever just memorize left Mars right Venus as soon as you come in the room you need to kill a whole bunch of ads but more importantly kill a gatekeeper right in the middle of the map so my boy Rob he thunder crashes the gatekeeper right there and then I am going to grab the relic once I grab the relic the others are opening up the portals to Mars or Venus so I'm going to grab the relic and then I'm gonna stand in the middle and I'm gonna wait for the call out to see where the heck I am going am I going to Mars or am I going to Venus you will also need overload rounds for this encounter so I would recommend a submachine gun with overload rounds you might want to use with a horde and I personally like to have a machine gun the commemoration from the deep stone crypt raid so here I am just waiting right side is Venus left is Mars I'm waiting for the call out what's gonna happen is on each side at the same time a wyvern is going to spawn or a a minotaur with a white shield the minotaur with the white shield can only be taken down with the relic by either the super ability which you're gonna see right here or by just ground slamming it or just punching it with the relic then that person with the relic is going to drop the relic and give it to the person and relieve them of where they were you will be passing the relic around it's easy it's not a big deal because what happens is you can see that debuff on my screen right there teleport destabilization once you use the relic to go into either Mars or Venus you can't use it for a little bit right so now I've got my wyvern at that point when the wyvern comes in that means on Mars a minotaur has spawned in so whoever grabbed the relic outside they're over on Mars taking down the shield on the Minotaur and passing the relic off to someone else who's gonna come back out and eventually come into Venus it's like a back-and-forth thing okay so Minotaur Wyvern then Minotaur Wyvern then Wyvern Minotaur it's basically there's either a Wyvern or Minotaur on either side Mars or Venus but it goes back and forth meaning left or right left right left right there's not a randomness to it I guess that's what I'm trying to say so there is the Minotaur right here um, you can actually freeze him and he will stop coming down so Boomtown comes in he does his slam he takes it out now he's gonna pass the relic to me and just sit here and finish off the ads and wait for the next wyvern to come out so they're outside opening up the portal for me and I will come out with the relic and then I'm going to pass off the relic to someone else now my job is to stay here and keep the sink plate open so when you're out here you're gonna have overload minotaurs coming out of that door right here and then behind you you will have a yellow bar vex and two other red bar vex coming out of there that my friend cruel is taking care of in the corner so my job here is just to keep the sink plate open I still have that teleport destabilization on me so I can't use the relic right now uh, so in a nutshell right now after I believe it's three wyverns and three minotaurs are destroyed we are all going to go into the middle now what I would recommend that comes in very very handy for this encounter is obviously a submachine gun with overload rounds and also with a horde with the breaching clear mod from your seasonal artifact because it annihilates those overload minotaurs once the three wyverns and also three minotaurs that are shielded from the portals from Mars and Venus are killed everyone goes to the middle and they have to 
to defend the conflux in the middle. Here, you're going to have a couple of more minotaurs with the white shield that only the person with the uh, relic can take down, as well as you will have a bunch of wyverns that will eventually spawn in from the portals. Once you defend it long enough and kill enough of them, then you've completed the encounter in a nutshell. One of the cheeses right now is you don't really need the relic to take down the minotaurs with the white shields. You could simply use Prometheus Lens or you could use the colony, but don't bet on doing that for very long if Bungie does indeed patch that. Moving on to Atheon. So you destroy the crystal in the middle. You have three people left and three people right. Now you will have a bunch of harpies that spawn in in the air and also down low. In the air, you want to kill on both sides, left and right, all the harpies except one. Leave one up on the left, leave one up on the right. If you do that, in the air, only one harpy will sit there the entire time on the left and right hand side, making it not a big deal. The rest of the ones on the ground, you want to kill all of them. Then you will have three people get randomly teleported to Mars or Venus and three people outside. The people inside Mars or Venus, their job is to destroy oracles three at a time in the order called out from the people outside. The people outside, we will designate one person to call out the oracles in the proper order, and you have to have the people inside destroy those oracles in the correct order in order to move on. If you call them and they destroy them in the wrong order, you will wipe. Now I'm going to call out the oracles, and they will flash twice, okay? Now the other people call out where they went, so the other guardians outside, they will go open up the sink plate. You will get rushed by a ton of supplicants, okay? They are very dangerous. They will explode. So you want to keep them away from the person doing call out so they can do their job. And if you just stand on the pillar above the sink plate, you'll be fine. The way that we do call outs, and everyone has different ways of doing it, is there are six in total. There's two on the right, two on the left, and two in the middle. So we say far right, close right. We say far middle, close middle. And we say far left, close left. After a few rounds of that, well, you have Times of Vengeance on your screen on the left-hand side, and everyone can do DPS. And there's various spots where people can do DPS, okay? You could do it by the stairs right next to them. You could do it where we are. What you need to watch is at the 15-second mark on your screen, one of you will get detained. They have to jump off wherever you are, and people have to break them out of the detainment. If they are right next to you while you're detained, and yes, I did whiff that rocket right there. If they are right next to you while they are detained, they will also detain you and detain others if you're all clumped up. So you got to watch your screen at the 15 second mark for a debuff and get out of there and just say, I'm marked, and then the people will then just break you out of it. Now, if you get teleported, you're either grabbing the relic and using it, or you're going to be shooting oracles in the order they are called out from the folks outside. So we got teleported to Mars. I call out Mars. Now, I am Relic Holder. Some people stand right here, where I just ran past, or they go all the way back here. Totally up to you, okay? So, standing back here, the ads will keep spawning out, and you do not even have to deal with them if you stand here, and you can quickly get to the portal when it's time to go do damage. So, my teammates here, they're just listening for the callouts, and they're either sniping, you could use Xenophage. Xenophage will one-pop each oracle, and sometimes can actually make a Warmind cell, but I'm just cleansing them from time to time because we will all go blind and you can see for the most part the ads don't really bother us or cannot do that much damage to us and then we're going to jump out when we get i think it's three rounds of oracles that we have to destroy and then we're going to go back out the portal and go do damage now sometimes i can drop the relic once we get to the middle plate and then pop my super off and then from there just grab it back and then start holding it so in this case i'm just i decided not to i'm just holding it and cleansing everyone as long as i'm holding down cleanse um we have a shield around us and nothing can really damage us so i'm doing a call out too as to when we need to get out of there and about the four to five second mark i tell everyone all right time to leave one of the critical things that i think everyone should be aware of and it didn't happen in this one here is when the person is doing call outs of the order Oracles, the other two who are holding the sink plate open need to kill supplicants like crazy because once they start overrunning you, it can get out of hand. So when you're holding down a sink plate outside during oracles, just stand on the pillar in the middle of the sink plate, shoot these supplicants that are on your sink plate, but also use a scout rifle or something on the supplicants across because they will build up and once the guardians come out with the relic to do damage and if you have to do more phases of DP 
yes, you will have supplicants everywhere and they are no fun. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the guide, guys, in terms of weapons. Uh, Thunder Crash does amazing DPS, Golden Gun. I'm using Tether, I think next time or from now on, I am actually going to go uh, not using Tether. I'm going to go Golden Gun. For Warlocks, usually having a well does help. Um, Chaos Reach also does some damage. Um, I go with the Scout Rifle to take out some of the Harpies. I go with the Deathbringer for my Heavy to do damage on Atheon. And I keep my Ikelos on me for the Supplicant. Some other weapons that come in handy, obviously, are Snipers for getting the Oracles when you're inside taking out the Oracles. And also Xenophage, because like I said before, Xenophage will one-pop an Oracle. And here's a fun factoid. If you pop the first Oracle with Xenophage and it makes a Warmind Cell, when you shoot that Warmind Cell, it will then pop the other two Oracles in the proper order. Order. So here I am just doing callouts again, and yeah, it's a fun encounter, man. I love this raid. I can't wait for the master version to come out. All right, guys, so hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you need to find a team, guys, use the LFG discords, use the LFG websites, use the bungee ones, meet people, and you will find people. I know I use the Destiny 2 PC LFG, and I've had really, really good results with it. So that's it for the video, guys. Do me a favor. Leave me a hashtag. Made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually know it's on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. And for those asking, I got Vex Mythoclast on my fifth run. I got the Catalyst done that night because I found a team after all my friends got off. I was determined to get it. I went on to the Destiny 2 PC LFG found a well an amazing group of guys we uh we got the catalyst done and then i went to the uh thrallway over in the shadow throne and completed it all right guys i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one